So you want to use Greenshift. In this video, we'll be covering the Greenshift plugin themes and get a little bit familiar with the full site editor. So why wait? Let's get to it. First off, let's start by installing Greenshift themes and plugin. This is the firstly installed WordPress website I have right now. We go to the dashboard, then enter the pl plugins and press add new. Search for Greenshift and there we go. Just wait a, wait a little bit. There we have Greenshift animation and page builder blocks. The animation part is for me the most important reason why I use Greenshift because I haven't seen anything like it in other plugins, especially for the paid version. But that's for later. Let's first activate this right now. So there we go. Plugin installed. Next, let's add the Greenshift theme also search for green shift install and press activate now you will see that your home page has been changed into looking like this instead of the white page i really do like the design they have going let's go to the full site editor and do some editing with the green shift blocks to do so, we go to the dashboard again, go to appearance and then press editor for the full site editor. As you can see in the sidebar, we have a, some design options. We have our navigation. Within navigation, you have your, pa uh, your pages available. You have styles in which you can select your style. You have the pages option, which is very important. You have templates. Templates are part of the pages and it's something you will see every time. I will give an example. This is an example of a page. So you will have a menu on every page, a title section with a grayish line, and then the post content of the block itself. So everything you will put on a page will be viewed inside this part. And then you will have a footer. So those are the page templates. Next is patterns. Patterns are sections on your website. To give an example, Greenshift already has some patterns available for you. For example, this is the hero section you will see on the website, the front end as well. So let's view that one. So as you can see, this section is there. Greenshift hero headers. So next, let's, let's explore how the Greenshift and full site editing work. So let's start by editing the front page. You go and go to pages and then front page and then press the edit button. So there we go. Now we have entered the full site editing part of WordPress. So let's explore a little bit and explain how this works. So here you have an overview of your commands. You can change to navigation or pages or whatsoever. On the left side, you have some buttons available for you. So the first one with the stacked lines is the list view of your current page you are looking at. So as we can see, there's a header available that is the getting started and the menu and at the bottom you have your footer so your footer template pattern is available here now you also can see why patterns are very easy to use because this is a section that is very reusable and it is distinguished by the purple color in the sidebar the content itself is in a group and you have a group in a group and there you have all sorts of columns and everything available for you. If you edit something and want to do or do it, undo it, you can press undo or you can press redo. As you can see, it will update automatically. And on the blue button, You should see a lot more than this, so I don't know what's going on. There we go. So 
I guess this is a full site editing stuff that isn't working properly. As you can see, you have the patterns available here as well. You have a green shift footers available, some general blocks, a header, which looks like the navigation bar, the hero section, oh, looks very similar like this one, green shift parts, the query parts where you can see a post overview and uncategorized like the light mode slider. That's nice. So these are the green shift parts. So next up are the green shift blocks. When you click on blocks, you will be greeted with the green shift blocks. Very recognizable because it has a blue color and you can see the green shift logo as well. If you scroll down, you have the WordPress core blocks available for you to use as well. Now, how can you add a block? You just simply select the block, drag it in, and there we go. Here is your block. So editing is also pretty easy. You just press the section you want to edit and select everything. And there we go. We have now created a new front page. Let's view it on the website so we see it reflected. Here you go, hello world, and here's your block. So there is the WordPress core heading block and there's the green shift heading block. What's the difference between those two? First off, you can see that there's a lot of options available within the green shift heading block. If you compare it to the WordPress core block, Sim same thing goes for the right side. On the right side, you have an overview of your block settings. And as you can see, it's quite limited. For the, for the WordPress core heading block, but I think it's good enough for people that are just starting out. If you want more to do more advanced stuff, you should use the green shift section, the green shift block. And as you can see, you have a lot of more options available for you, like topography settings, uh, background settings, etc., etc. You can find that on the right side. And GreenShift also has some advanced features, for example, animations or transform and position. But I think that's for a more advanced tutorial on that list one. Next, let's try and edit a, the menu because you have a default menu here. It says menu item, menu drop down, and mega drop down. When I press it, you see a editing part for the header as well. When you press edit, you jump in the template part header. And you can edit it here. So here you have your menu items. Say for instance, we want to add a, another page called about us. We write about us and we can create a draft page called about us. You're also able to add other things like a search bar. So I will remove this for now and press delete, press save. And let's see, let's go back to the front page. And as you can see here, it is reflected that the about us page is created, but it's in draft. What does that mean? It means it's not available for people visiting the website. A draft means it's not fit ready yet for main, the main page. So to edit it, you go to, and there you have the About Us page. As you can see, here's the information of the About Us, Us page. The status is draft, there's no slug, and it's a, it uses the template pages. Now let's edit this. Here we can add our content of the About Us page. So let's get started by adding a 
container, a heading, and perhaps a image as well. So there we go, an image. And I want to upload an image. Let's see what I have in my downloads. So there we go. And next. So there we have the contents of our the About Us page. I'd like to design this a little bit more. So let's do this really quickly. Usually the CSS grid, so you have always even com columns. I also want to add a power paragraph. To do this, I usually add a container. And within the container, I will add the paragraph. And then afterwards, I want to add a front text. Welcome to my website. Green shift. I love green shift. So there we go. We have an about us page. We press save. And if you go to the page settings, which is also available on the right hand side, then click on draft, set it to published. Press save again. View the site. And there we go. About Us page is now available. And we can repress it. Here's the About Us page. I hope this quick getting started guide with GreenShift helped you. If not, please let me know in the comments. If, you, if it did help you, please subscribe and uh, give a thumbs up. It will always help. And in the next video, we go more in depth in how to use and create pages on GreenShift. So catch you on the next one.